Certain types of liars fascinate the public. The gaslighter, who makes you doubt your own senses and ignore your gut. The relativist, whose entire reality is based on personal experience. And liars by omission, who hide important details as a way to weaponize the truth. Oh, and the most convincing and common type of liar, the person who lies to herself. These liars have justified a lie to the point of internalizing it as fact. For example, sure, Bella. Of course you can drink five shots of espresso and still have a good night's sleep. Hey, rude. But it's true, you're an addict. Voltaire drank 40 cups of coffee a day. Well, maybe he was staying up late to get all his blogging homework done too. That's unlikely. Working on Moynihan's ethically questionable homework? Mind if I join? Actually, the professor's dialectical approach harkens back to Socrates, the founder of ethics, although he has many modern innovations. I'm all for innovations, but don't you think it's really weird how he's putting us all on public display? You know, some suggest that Moynihan's tactics drove Margot to set the fire herself. Who suggested that? Just some people. You know, I agreed to study with you because of the loyalty you displayed for Bella, but ask that you leave the unsubstantiated rumors for your little gossip site, okay? Damn, Daniel. Okay. Uh, hi. You could have chosen a more flattering image. Here, let me take one now. Do you mind? I wonder how Moynihan would feel knowing his favorite student was getting outsider help. After all, you weren't selected to join the class. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not like the professor has any say over my crafting projects now, does he? The man doesn't buy my glitter. True. I mean, everybody on campus is pretty obsessed with us right now. Why not you two? Do you have a question? Yeah, actually, one. I noticed your roommate is still a suspect on your little cheat sheet. Clearly, she has no alibi because she has no other friends. And your question was? Do you think she did it? What is this? Hi, Kat. What are you, helping Harper now? No, I mean, I don't know. Are you gonna ask her to co-host with you too? Don't be an idiot, Kat. I'm allowed to help whoever I want. And you've been so MIA recently, I wouldn't even know how to help you. She's probably caught up in her little romance with Wilson. What? Stay out of this, Harper. You're hooking up with Wilson? I'm not hooking, who said hooking up? It was one kiss. The guy that you called the embodiment of toxic masculinity. Oh my God, he's not like that all the time. Hello? Kat Carlson, is that you? Or is this an alien wearing my best friend as a skin suit? Gross. Bye, Bye Harper. Harper. Bye, Allie. Thanks again for the valuable insight into Kat's character. Super helpful. Toodles. Why are you helping her? You know there's only one A. Kat, a girl is in a coma. Who cares about an A? I do. Oh yeah, that's right, you do. You care so much, and that's why you were painstakingly studying a very important six pack. Allie, you're the one that's always telling me to expand my social circle to more than just a plus one. Well, it's not my fault that you just have this way of trusting the shadiest people. What does that say about my choice of best friend? I just don't understand why out of all people, you're keeping secrets from me. Kat, I've always been there for you. There's just some things you wouldn't understand because you've never been through anything hard or real in your life. I thought we were supposed to record today. Yeah, well, I can't, sorry. Fine. I guess Harper won't mind co-hosting. You know, I think she's really getting on to whoever set that fire. My apologies. He's stuck on a call. He'll be right down. Mm. Maybe in the meantime, you could help me with this anthropological symbolism. Honestly, I think he gets it all from Etsy. Etsy. You, uh, you work closely with the professor? I do. I'm TAing his seminar this semester, but I've been studying with him since I started at Colvin. 
Oh, so you, you up with his research? Absolutely. I'm his protege. So once he retires, his work will live on and evolve and get better. With me. My apologies. Just finalizing a few details before the big day. The launch of Cuff. That's right. Working out those last minute kinks, Professor. <laughs> no such thing. My research is in capable hands with the Wilson Corporation. Together, we will change the ethos of society. You have a lot of faith in your work, Professor? You don't need faith when you have the truth. That's a good answer. Uh, so you're taking on a full teaching load. That's right. My students are my legacy. Perhaps you'd like to speak with one of them for the article. Well, yeah. Kat Carlson. Incredibly promising work. Your favorite student. You know I can't play favorites. 